Okay, bear with me. I'm starting with a poem. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Gabriel. My family have always done stoves. We've had the biggest stove companies and the smallest. I've been the warehouseman, the delivery boy, the fitter, the salesman, the managing director, and now I'm... No longer a managing director. Yeah. <laughs> Beechwood fires burn bright and clear if the logs are kept a year. Store your beech for Christmas tide with new cut holly laid beside. Chestnuts only good they say if for years tis stored away. Birch and fir would burn too fast, blaze too bright and do not last. Flames from larch will shoot up high, dangerously the sparks will fly. But ashwood green and ashwood brown are fit for a queen with a golden crown. Oaken logs, if dry and old, keep away the winter's cold. Poplar gives a better smoke, fills your eyes and makes you choke. Elmwood burns like churchyard mould, even the very flames are cold. Hawthorn bakes the sweetest bread, so it's said in Ireland. No, Hawthorn bakes the sweetest bread, so it is in Ireland said. <laughs> Applewood will scent the room, pear smells like flowers in bloom, but ashwood wet and ashwood dry, a king may warm his slippers by. Okay, a few of you have been asking me about which wood is best or is there certain woods to avoid and that, that sort of thing. Um, and this was a question I had to turn straight to Scandinavia for um, because they are verging on obsessive on how they store, dry, which woods they use, why they use them. They are, uh, they've got a lot to teach us. Um, and there's been a few studies in Norway and, uh, and, and I'm sure elsewhere as well, but essentially what they found was that if you dried the wood down to 15%, they were all roughly the same, and then you weighed the logs, so you, you, got, you had three kilos of oak, three kilos of ash, three kilos of blah, 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 blah. Um, as long as they were all 15%, so dry, the calorific value didn't vary. Now, of course, if you've got uh, three kilos of softwood, that's probably a reasonable pile of softwood, whereas three kilos of oak, it's probably not that much. But the calorific value is the same. So if you were, so in other words, the calorific value is the same, what you can get out of your stove with that amount of fuel is also the same. Um, if you're buying your logs by weight, then of course it makes no odds. You just, as long as it's all dry, you buy whatever's cheapest, etc, etc. Um, but if you're buying it by volume, which most of us are nowadays, so a cubic meter of wood, then the denser the wood that you're buying, the more calorific value you're getting and therefore the overall better value you're getting. So, um, uh, I think that's probably helpful. If you're, most of us are buying by uh, cubic meterage, and therefore, if you, whatever fuels, whatever options you've got, if you look up which is the denser wood, that is always going to be the best choice. There's no, uh, people say you can get lots more out of oak and this and that, but actually, there's no difference between any of the different types of wood um, in terms of calorific value by weight with the same moisture there is you know there might be you know slight waverings but basically it is so negligible we are never ever going to notice um, so which is the winner who which whose wood is the best <laughs> uh, and there is there is a winner uh, it's it's my favourite fuel. I've always preferred it. Um, I don't use it because my supplier supplies kiln dried ash, um, and as the poem suggested, ash seems to be very very good. So I was always very happy with that. But my favourite fuel is silver birch. 
Silver birch is the one that you can peel off the uh, the, uh, the the bark. It sort of it almost sort of flakes off. The bark is silver birch's secret weapon. Um, it's the difference between this wood and any other because if you strip off the bark it's the same as every other bit of wood um, obviously normally you leave the bark on the wood but it makes no difference but with silver birch there are and I can't even explain it scientifically I'm sure there's one of you who perhaps can and please drop us a comment but the the bark is effectively works as your kindling and your fire lighter. There must be some sort of resin or something in it which allows it to burn like a fire lighter. So, of course, you buy if you're buying uh, birch wood, then you never have to buy uh, kindling or fire lighters. So it saved you money straight away. You just get your logs, peel off all the bark. That is. Uh, I mean, as you can see here, there's no need for kindling, fire lighters, uh, all you need is a match and some of that bark and you can light a fire. So it is fantastically useful. The calorific value by weight is the same, so, uh, and it's a reasonably dense wood, so I think it's basically on a par with everything else that you're going to buy by volume. But of course, with that bark, it's just way cheaper to run because you've not bought any kindling, you've not had to fanny around chopping up kindling, and you don't need to buy any fire lighters. So, which is the best fuel? Which one should you buy? Which do the Norwegians favour? Silver birch. I hope that's helpful. Thank you very much.